Hi, it's Rebecca Coombs, and I'm sharing with you one of my recipes that I love to cook for friends when they come round for dinner. And it just so happens that I have friends coming round for dinner tonight, and I'm making this super easy roast chicken dish. And it's just divine and perfect on a SIBO diet. All you need to do is get some fresh thyme, which I have just taken the leaves away from the stems, and put that into either some butter or ghee. If you can't tolerate either, either of those things, then you could use some coconut oil. That would be absolutely fine. Just add some grated lemon zest, and I like to do the whole lemon. And we'll just take that out of the grater and then literally just give it a mash until it's well combined. And you might like to add some salt and pepper to that. So I'll just grind some freshly ground pepper in there and some salt. And then stir that until it's completely mixed through. All right, that's looking great. Now to get ready for the chicken itself, I'll just cut this lemon into smaller pieces so that they can actually fit inside the chicken. So I've grabbed my chicken and I've given it a wash and it's patted dry and I'm just going to separate the skin from the actual meat. And I'm going to do that over the chicken breasts and then I'll also go into the leg cavity because these are the areas that we're actually going to go and put this mixture across. And the purpose of doing this is that it makes the flesh while it cooks really succulent and absolutely delicious. But it also helps crisp up the skin. So you end up with this just amazing roast chicken dinner and uh, for very little effort. So you take a little wad of butter and press it underneath and then let it cover all of the flesh under there. Take another one and we'll just do this over those four cavity areas. Put this one over this leg. And then the last little bit of the mixture. Into the other leg cavity. So once it's all in there, you want to just pat it down so that it's somewhat even over the chicken meat. Now I'm going to go and wash my hands and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, I've got clean hands. So the next step is I want to just grind some pepper and some salt all over the chicken, just to give it some extra seasoning. And if you wanted to, you could also just drizzle some olive oil over the skin, which will just help it make it even more lovely and crispy. Now into the cavity, I have some extra thyme. These are just thyme on, on their stems. You don't need to worry about taking the leaves off. So put that in the cavity and then we're going to put these lemon wedges in there as well. And so as the chicken cooks these will steam and they will just impart this amazing lemon flavour into the actual chicken meat. Now I have a dish here and I've already pre-chopped a couple of carrots which I've put in the base of the tray and we'll move our chicken across. If you've got some uh, kitchen string that is safe to use in cooking, by all means, you can tie up the legs. All you need to do is pop this bird into the oven at 180 degrees or 365 Fahrenheit for about 55 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of your chicken. And uh, it will be absolutely succulent and delicious. See you soon. The chicken has just come out of the oven and it smells amazing. The lemon and the thyme add such a new dimension to it. It's really special. I'm sure that you're going to absolutely love this when you make it at home. If you've liked today's video, click like. And don't forget to tell me what SIBO recipes you would like me to make by putting them in the comments below. The recipe is in a link down below this video. And I love seeing your creations in the kitchen. Just simply hashtag them with hashtag cooking for SIBO. Until next time, I'm Rebecca Coombs. Happy cooking.